Do you daydream of backpacking across Europe? Wish you could explore Egyptian tombs, but it's just not in the budget. Do you want to travel the world, but it just seems impossible? Well, now you can with Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, all joking aside, if you can make it to Las Vegas, you really can experience some of the world's greatest offerings all in one place. Sure, they aren't the real thing, but they are beautiful and many of them are free to experience. Today, I'm showing you five ways to travel the world without leaving Las Vegas. If Italy is on your bucket list, there's actually two stops on our journey today that will help you scratch that itch. And first up is the Venetian. Inspired by the art and architecture of Venice, Italy, the Venetian showcases replicas of several well-known landmarks, such as St. Mark's Campanile, the bell tower of St. Mark's Basilica. It stands tall over the city and can be seen from just about anywhere on the Strip. There's the Palazzo Ducale, the palace built in 1340 for the Doge of Venice. And before we head inside, you'll notice the Rialto Bridge, the oldest of the four bridges crossing the Grand Canal. Stepping inside, we are transported to St. Mark's Plaza or Piazza San Marco. Here you'll find several options for Italian foods. can grab some sweet and delicious gelato. There's so many flavors to choose from. And enjoy the street atmosphere performers for the free Carnival of Venice, which features opera singers, jugglers, stilt walkers, and more. And be sure to take a look up. The painted ceilings do a marvelous job of giving you the feeling of being outside in La Piazza. The most popular and probably recognizable attraction, however, are the gondola rides, piloted by singing gondoliers. Grab your sweetheart and float along cafes, under bridges, and past jealous tourists, all while being serenaded along the way. You can cruise indoors through the Grand Canal shops or Enjoy the magic of the city by choosing an outdoor ride. Let's keep the romance from that gondola ride going. Head on over to Paris. We don't even have to hop on a plane. Right away, we notice the iconic Eiffel Tower. You cannot miss it. Though it's half the size of the Paris original, it dazzles in its own way. It offers a nightly light show starting at sunset every 30 minutes till midnight. And you can take a glass elevator 460 feet up to a viewing deck with stunning panoramas of the city. Tickets start at $24.50 and there are discounts for military, locals, and seniors. At the main entrance, you can pose for a photo at the famous Arc de Triomphe. It's two thirds the size of the original. Photo tip. Turn your camera to panoramic mode and scan up from your feet to the top of the arc. That way you get you and the arc without having to stand a mile away. The front of the hotel echoes the Louvre and the Paris Opera House. I don't speak French and I apologize for absolutely butchering it. There are several restaurants of note. First up, Vanderpump et Paris, where you can order the Love Locked Cocktail for two, which is served with a padlock and a key. You write your initials on the lock and secure it on one of the walls of the restaurant, sealing your love forever, just as they do in Paris. The Eiffel Tower restaurant, which seats you more than 100 feet up above the strip. And Mon Ami Gabi, which offers a beautiful view of the Bellagio fountains from the patio. Our next destination takes us to the city that never sleeps, in the actual city that never sleeps. If you've always wanted to visit the Big Apple, Las Vegas has that too. New York, New York embodies the look and the feel of the city so nice, they named it twice. From the outside, you'll find the New York skyline, complete with a 47-story replica of the Empire State Building. 
For comparison, the original is 102 stories. You'll also notice the Chrysler Building, the Century, and others. Running along the front, you can check out the 300-foot-long replica of the Brooklyn Bridge. Obviously, the most notable sight is the replica of the Statue of Liberty. She's 150 feet tall, and there's a fascinating story surrounding her design. In 2010, the post office issued a stamp with a close-up of the Statue of Liberty. They were unaware that the image used was the Las Vegas replica. Our Lady Liberty was designed by a Vegas local who gave her a more modern, feminine face inspired by his mother-in-law. The designer sued the Postal Service for copyright and won! The Las Vegas Green Goddess is truly one of a kind. The casino resembles different areas of New York, Greenwich Village, Times Square, Wall Street, Central Park. The walkways are cobblestone, and you can wind your way through what looks like a city street as you browse the shops and grab a bite to eat. Speaking of eating, I'm here with my friend Gabby, and we just can't leave New York without having a good old-fashioned hot dog. Sound good? Yes. Awesome. Remember how I said there were two spots for those of you with a talophilia? Well, you can get your fix at the second spot, Caesar's Palace. Greeting you at the entrance is Julius Caesar himself hailing a cab. There are stunning statues and artwork everywhere you look. There are fountains and a free animatronic show called The Fall of Atlantis. It features fire, water, and nine-foot-tall talking statues. Shows are Thursday through Monday, every hour from noon to eight. The forum shops are a high-end shopping experience, which you would expect on a trip to Italy. You'll find designer stores like Versace, Gucci, Balenciaga, and more. My favorite part of the shops are actually these spiral escalators. They're so fun and I just want to keep riding them. And if you're looking to observe the works of the master Michelangelo himself, you can find the statue of David in the Appian Way. This is an exact replica of the original masterpiece. Every detail is correct, including being carved from the same Carrera marble. For the final destination of our journey today, we're traveling to the marvelous and mysterious Egypt at the Luxor Hotel. Right off the tram looms the Great Sphinx, which I mentioned in a previous video is bigger than the original. Right behind it stands the deep black 30-story pyramid whose beam of light is a true Vegas icon. It's brighter than over 42,000 lighthouses combined and has created its own ecosystem. The light attracts swarms of bugs, bugs attract bats, bats attract owls. It's fascinating, but kind of creepy. Throughout the interior, you'll discover replicas of ancient Egyptian artifacts, hieroglyphics, statues, and obelisks. Discovering King Tut's Tomb is a newer exhibit here where you can learn about the life of King Tut, the archaeology involved in unearthing his tomb, the treasures found there, and explore a replica of the burial chamber. So as you can see, if you can make it to Las Vegas, your travel possibilities are endless. Let me know in the comments what's your dream destination and hit that subscribe button for more unique Vegas facts. See you in the next one.